All the dimensions found in FCCS are defined by hierarchies, which contain the dimension members. Data is input at the lowest level in the hierarchy, which then aggregates up through the higher levels of the dimension according to unary operators – addition, subtraction, multiplication and so on. This aggregation is triggered either dynamically or via business rules written in the S-Base calculation script language, depending on the dimension type. FCCS makes use of S-Base as its database. S-Base has two types of dimensions. Firstly, dense dimensions. In the case of FCCS, the only dense dimension is the account dimension. Dense dimensions generally contain a mixture of stored members and dynamically calculated members. Stored members, as the name suggests, store data in the database and are base level or level zero members where data is input. Parent level members of dense dimensions are dynamically calculated, which means that aggregation in the account dimension occurs automatically as upper level members are retrieved. Whilst further members can be added under dynamic calc members, they cannot be added under stored members. All the other dimensions in FCCS, such as products and entities, are sparse dimensions. The members of sparse dimensions are generally stored members, although members can be dynamically calculated if member formulas are being used. As a result, any aggregation, again governed by unary operators, needs to be triggered by business rules. In any of the dimensions, members with an FCCS underscore prefix are preceded members. As a result, they cannot be renamed. However, their aliases or descriptions can be customized.